it's a superfood, right? They say it's a, it's, a, it's a superfood, which actually, just to get us started, oh, delicious. Look at that. How good do those look? I mean, I'm a big advocate of highlighting whatever the whatever the ingredient is. I want to I want to highlight that, but I'm not sure I'm not so sure that I want to highlight this. But I but I but, but the dish that we're doing today is gonna is gonna highlight it. I got some regular fruit wood chunks, which I'll put on top. You know, it's got some umami. It's got like 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 that that freshwater muddiness or that salt water. You know, that seaweed kind of taste. Pond scum. That's that's not a, that's not something. I mean, that that wouldn't be a way. I guess I would describe it or have at this point. But after smelling it, and, you know. So did you experiment uh, with it? Um, a little bit. Let's see, we made a celery root soup with croutons and a spirulina oil. An another interesting dish, I, well, in interesting as, as far as that wouldn't be anything I'd want to eat again, but somebody did like a, like a fried egg dish with a spirulina creme fraiche. Yeah. So here's a piece of sturgeon that we did a simple cure of salt, sugar, and I actually used a little bit of dill seed on there. It's been cured for about six hours and then dried out overnight. Nice uh, oyster mushrooms from River Valley Kitchens. Some, some turnips, you know, the, the hakurai or the white. Preserved lemon butter. I think this is gonna be good though. down there and get off the excess. The sturgeon, the that fresh water, muddy, real earthy, earthy component, you know. I think it's gonna match well with this, you know. And I actually I even have a I even have a pairing for our dish. Oh yeah? Yeah. We'll put this on. Okay. It's like a spirulina turd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for the preserved lemon butter sauce, I got the butter here, and I'm gonna get some sake going. All right, and then let's prep the turnips, and I'll get a pan on for that. We're gonna slice these on a mandolin. Pull it thinner, just a nice little, kind of a warm salad for mushrooms and turnips. So we got nice color there. See how brown those are? It's nice, and then let's add the turnips. Let me taste the uh, sake reduction. About ready to add the butter. Push that in there. Get a spoon. Keep it moving so you you so you, you emulsify the butter into the base. See that? I feel good about this. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay. Let's go check the sturgeon. You guys ready for this? Okay. Let's check it out. Oh my God, the lid's stuck. It's just wow. getting prettier. <laughs> I think it's cooked. I was afraid I was gonna lose a lot of the crust, but it looks like it's holding on well. Spirulina crust. Spirulina juice and smoke. Just like the meat drippings, right? That's all good stuff. You put it on either, either ends so we can keep that. Highlight the ingredient, make Chef Posey proud. It does have, Mike, you know, you mentioned nori. I mean, it really does have that, that, you know, that, that's, that seaweed taste. No, I think it works. I'm not sure if I, if I could find a local source for, for, for spirulina, maybe I'd put it on the menu. Pissed off. What his ingredient was, and he said, you know, lamb fat tastes terrible. He knows I hate it. I thought he was cool like me and liked all fats. <laughs>